We are back. Denise Caldwell is a highly sought after style expert who's worked with some of the biggest names in Hollywood. She's also working to empower young women and teach them something called, listen to this, curve confidence. So we're going to bring Denise in because you have to explain to me, my dear, what exactly is curve confidence? I have an idea, but I want to hear it from the expert here. Exactly. You know what? For me, I feel like a lot of women, you know, especially in America, are size 16 or higher. And basically, sometimes they're intimidated by fashion and they're also intimidated by beauty. And that's such a big thing. When you step out in the world every day, I call it your armor. You know, you want to be your best self. So I just feel like curve confidence is saying flaunting your curves, being fearless, you know, having fun with fashion, and really just being your best self when you step out every day. So what does it mean to dress with confidence from a woman's perspective? Absolutely. Well, it, I think it's still for a man. I mean, look at you. You're, you're on trend with your stripes, you know? <laughs> I'm just saying, you I know. I fell into this shirt this morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so women can fall into clothes, but with a, a woman that's a little more curvier, she kind of has to take a little more time with her wardrobe, which is totally fine. She just start with what's underneath, you know, make sure she has the proper undergarments, whether it's underwear, shapewear, or bra, and then play with color, play with patterns, you know what I mean? She can still look at the runways and celebrities for inspiration, and then just say, you know what, now there's so many retailers that are championing women with curves that they have great options. So, you know, when it comes to that, I do know, I, this I can attest, it okay. does start with the first layer. So, if the first layer that you put on when you get up, you know, man or woman, and you know that, okay, this starts it, I can build from there. And Absolutely. That I do. But women, I think, tend to be a little bit more hard on themselves than guys do. You know, like I said, I fell into this shirt, you know, meaning it's, it's a clean shirt, and you don't get me wrong. <laughs> you know, but I'm just saying, you know, it's I can just grab a shirt and put on a tie, but women take a little bit more time and can be a little bit more hard on themselves. Why is that? Absolutely. I think that's the value in being a woman. And we should celebrate that and not be hard on ourselves. We should have fun with it and say, you know what, if I did get it right, you know, today, I'll get it right tomorrow. Or, you know what, at work, from the cubicle to cocktails, I call it dressing. Everybody's doing that now, you know, dressing from day to night. Just figuring out, okay, I'm going to wear this during the day, but I'm going to amp it up with a red lip when I go out tonight. Or I'm going to try that silver stiletto that I never thought I would try. Or, you know what, florals didn't... I don't think look great on me are stripes, but I'm going to step out of my comfort zone and I'm going to face the fashion. I just feel like empowering women through fashion and beauty, because when you look good and you feel good, you're going to do good. Okay. Yeah. Tell about some of the people, the celebrities that you've worked with. Absolutely. I mean, I've been in fashion for almost 10 years, and I've worked with so many amazing stylists and fashion editors from Harper's Bazaar, okay. Vogue, and Oprah Magazine. You know, I had the opportunity to work with the First Lady, Mrs. Obama, Sarah Jessica Parker, Beyonce, Kylie, and Kendall Jenner. So yeah, you get like you five know, heavy hitters as far as it's a roster. trendy fashion uh, <laughs> right there. Absolutely. Know. And for me, a lot of those women love fashion. You know, even Halle Berry, they love wearing color. I've taken so much from them working behind the scenes while I was schlepping, we call it, no, you know, know, having like tons of garment bags and stuff, just seeing how they were confident in the mirror, how they knew, you know, a great bra, a great underwear, a great corset was going to cinch them in and make them look great. Even in photo shoots, you know, photo shoots, everyone thinks about airbrushing. Well, let me tell you, J-Lo definitely has a big derriere, okay. but she flaunts it. You know, she Halle does. Berry, amazing skin, amazing spirit, post-baby. When she had Nyla, we shot her for Harper's Bazaar. She was amazing and just really danced to Stevie Wonder and was, you know, great and really got, you know, we had runway gowns and some of them didn't fit, some of them didn't. We jerry rig it, you know, for the photo. But the confidence that they exuded, they loved fashion. They were excited to see everything. And I just want women to feel that way. And now, you know, retailers and brands are starting to embrace the curvy woman and the boutte. You know, Vogue right. magazine said it's all about the booty this year. So they're embracing that and they're adding additions to it so that every woman can still be fashion forward. Denise, before we bring out the models, I just had a question because I'm still trying to understand this. Um, Spanx. <laughs> What is it? Is it okay? Or do you endorse it? You know, and I work with women, obviously, so I hear things. I pick up. My mom and I were out, and she took me into a section, and I'm like, what, what, what exactly is that? So, just... Okay, I think every woman says Spanx, but Spanx is a brand. But there's so many different types of shapewear. They'll say, oh, I got to put my Spanx on. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's from the brand Spanx. Okay. I love everything from, you know, Fruit of Loom has a new underwear for curvy women called Fit For Me. You know, there are different shapewears and bras by Vanity Fair. You just have to balance it out. But they say, I got to put my Spanx on. But it's just more so they're saying, I got to get my armor. What's going to be underneath? It because smooths out and it slenderizes okay. and smooths and just really makes the clothing look much better. 
better. So you're okay yeah. with that? You're, you're... I, I love that, yeah. Okay. You know, the perfect outfit starts with what's underneath. That's my number one style secret for anybody. Okay, all right. Yeah. Let's see who you brought with us today. Okay. And some clothes, you can just, you take over from I here. I did. Right here. <laughs> so first up, oh. There she is. We have Viva, and you know what? It's all about the skinny pants, and there was, you know, trousers and different variations of pants. The 70s is back on the runway, so I wanted to give a variation. This outfit is actually from Walmart. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yes, okay. Walmart is trying to, you know, so you can be cheap and chic, which is great. Pops of color, cobalt blue, a really big trend right now. And then we added, you know, we were talking about basics, and you right. said, like, shapewear and Spanx. There's a tank under there that's $1.68 from Walmart that's black. You wouldn't know that, you know, with that, that you can have inexpensive fashion, and it still look great. And we just added a cute blazer, and we cinched her in at the waist to really accentuate her shapes and her curves, because that's the thing. You want to accentuate what you like, and then what you don't, you just kind of want to okay. not show. And also we have, very nice ma'am, thank you, this is... Shanae. Shanae. So Shanae, it's all about the flower power again. That's the key thing. This is a top and a skirt. I want people to know you can still do flower and flowers. You know, florals were huge. You can do print on print. But the key thing is to let your base of the color be the same. So black is the base of that color. And then she can still do the pops of the pinks, the pastels and stuff. And then just top it off with a simple pump. Because that's the key thing there. When you're going to go drastic up top, you know, go simple down at the bottom. She got some serious legs there, too. She really. does. And, and you know what? Hemlines are up. And they're also down this year. So we have two variations of that to show you. Okay. Thank you, Shanae. Look at a wall. <laughs> Who's this pretty lady here? <laughs> now, Sarah is my curvy girl. You know, I just wa I wanted to give variations. Women come in all shapes and sizes. Yes, they do. And I love to celebrate every woman, every shape. So basically, she has the peplum dress on, okay. and it's more body conscious because body con dresses are in. When you think about, you know, your Kim Kardashians, Jennifer Lopez's, they're wearing things that are body conscious, but they fit them right. So peplum is forgiving because it kind of, you know, accentuates the waist, it sucks you in a little bit, but then it gives her a little V. This dress is from Fashion to Figure, and that's actually a great plus size line that's good. It's fast fashion, so the dress is under $50, which is amazing. And her jacket is from Kohl's. Let me ask you this as we bring mm -hmm. all of the ladies back. Um, now, when it, when it comes to, to the top area, yes. you know, the chest, some women are like, you know what, I got it. I'm just going to have it out there like that. A lot, of, a lot of women are conscious of that. Right. Where do you fall? Because Sarah here, she's, she's rocking hers. She's blessed with the bosom. That's she, my coin hello. phrase. Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> she's blessed with the bosom, but the thing is, underneath that, we have a great shapewear piece under there. So it's holstering girls down, but still giving a little bit of, hello, I'm here, you know, that type of thing. But if she was going to the office, she could easily zip the jacket up, and then when she's going out, she could unzip it. Denise, thank you so much. And yes. ladies, all of you are so pretty. So nice to meet you. You too. All right. Come back and see us, okay? Yes, absolutely. Everybody at home, to learn more about today's topics, go to myfoxny.com and click on the public affairs tab. You can also like us on Facebook as well as follow us on Twitter. Antoine Lewis with you. We'll see you again next time for more Street Talk. And as always, thanks for the company. Check them out again. All right, ladies, give us a twirl or something right there. This is all about the bootay, yeah, right? The you side, know, the side. The there the we side. go. Yeah. <laughs> very nice. Very nice.